Welcome to today's lesson. You will need your composition book for notes and a pen or a pencil. Please hit pause and collect those materials now. Okay, so today we're going to talk about dividing with exponents. And as with multiplying with exponents, you have a rule that says that when the two numbers have the same bases and are being divided, you subtract the exponents. When they were being multiplied, we added the exponents. They're being subtracted, we when they're being divided, we subtract the exponents. So if we had a to the m over a to the n, that would equal a to the m minus n. So let's look and see why that works. Let's say I had a to the fifth divided by a squared. If I wrote out a to the fifth, I would have a times a times a times a times a. And if I wrote out a squared, I have a times a. Now, what happens when you have the same thing on top and bottom and it's all multiplication? They cancel each other out. So I could cancel these two out and these two out. And I'm not really canceling them out because what does a divided by a equal? It actually equals one. So this is actually one divided by one and one divided by one. If I rewrote that out, I would have a times a times one times one times a over one times one. Now, how would you write a times a times one times one times a? a cubed over one. And what is anything over one? itself. Now, isn't that the same thing as a to the 5 minus 2? Yep. So isn't it easier just to subtract the exponents? Yep. All right, let's try one. 4 to the 5th divided by 4 cubed would be 5 minus 3 4 squared. Okay. Now, this one's a little tricky. Why? Because what is the exponent here? A uh, one. So this would be p to the <laughs> minus one, which would be <laughs> ninth. All right, hit pause and try this one. All right, so this would be three minus two is one. So it'd just be three to the first power, which is equal to three. All right, let's kick it up a notch. Now, in this particular problem, what is being taken to the powers? The bases are only the same on the ends. So my three over five stays the same. And I subtract my three minus two, because the only thing I'm subtracting are the ones with the same bases. So now what's three minus two? One. However, this is an improper way to write it. Whenever you have a variable right now, you should take it to the top. So this is my correct answer. Let's try another. This one's a little tricky. If I move my x to the side to subtract my exponents, what's left on top? One. So this looks like this, one six with x cubed minus one because there's a one there which would give me 1 sixth x squared. And where should that x squared go for right now? On top. All righty, here we go. <laughs> Hit pause, work it out, bring it to class tomorrow. And that's all for your video today. See you in class.